the look of the scenery. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm enjoying life right now, I'm not gonna lie. We have picked up some huge results lately. Everything has been going well. We've been winning big games, we've been winning against small teams, we're climbing the table, we're in second, we went through in the cup, everything is going as planned. And that's why it's time to relax, sit back and enjoy the moment for a little bit, because I know it won't last forever. I'm, I'm visiting my brother right now. Um, if you don't know, I have a brother, Antonio, who plays for Genoa, um, actually. So, you know, he's established as a goalkeeper, 25 years old. He's got his own house, his own place, barbecue, swimming pool. It's just awesome, it really is. And one day, I may have something like this, but I've got to keep working. Let's hope that everything goes smooth today. No problems, no hiccups, no, no troubles, just a perfect run of games. That's all I'm asking for. Hellas Verona, three points, keep him at home. Lovely ball by Abate, Luis Adriano is in the middle, he's gonna cross it in, Carlos Baca, good save by Golini. Abate, great interception, Bonaventura out wide, Bertolacci, oh what a goal, what a goal from Milan to take the lead, 1-0. Finally we break the deadlock, we have been in control of this game, but not creating a lot of good chances. I've had nothing to do, but what a hit from Bertolacci, lovely goal, we're in the lead, let's keep it that way. There's not a lot going on in this game. I've showed you the two chances we had. We scored one of our chances, which is good. Uh, efficiency is always important. I haven't had to do anything. This could be a boring game for me. Bertolacci has acres of space. He can play it inside. Boateng is onside. Kevin Prince. What are you going to do with this? Kevin Prince plays it across. Carlos Baca, what are you doing? Boateng has been running riot. He's been running the show completely, creating a lot of chances here for Milan. Boateng still going. Menez for 2-0. Great save. Bertolacci, lovely ball. And it's 2-0. There we go. Kuchka doubles the lead for the Rossoneri. And it seems like we are now out of sight. I think that's the first time ever Bertolacci has done something good with a corner. It's a brilliant delivery. The goalkeeper is in no man's land and we've made it 2-0. This is probably the easiest game I've had to play yet. Not a single shot from Verona. We've got Menez in the middle, and we've got Montolivo on the overlapping run. Ricardo Montolivo finds Bertolacci. Bertolacci passes it inside. Montolivo. Kuchka, Montolivo. It's offside. Romulo plays it inside. Pizzini over the top. Romagnoli has got the... Oh, my God. Romagnoli. How have you lost that header? You fuck... Oh, God. I've had one shot that I had to save, and I couldn't save it. Like, a centre-back should always be winning those. Unreal header though by Luca Toni, credit to the guy, but come on man Romagnoli, you fuck me off so much sometimes. And that's the end of the game, a comfortable win, a comfortable performance from Milan, but personally I'm not happy. They've had one shot on target and I've conceded from it. Nothing I could do about it, but the stats, they don't look pretty. But we did deserve to pick up all three points as you can see right here. That was probably the worst game I've played so far, so maybe the press will be harsh on me. Maybe Mihailovic will start complaining again. All I could do is work hard in training. My handling has got up. I'm now a 78 rated goalkeeper. I'm going to keep working. I know there's going to be a lot of negativity again after that game, considering I didn't make a single save. Let's take a look at the newspapers. Milan's Donnarumma received an endorsement from his manager today after providing some great performances in recent matches. I set some targets for him and he went on doing everything I asked of him. His play recently is key to our squad and I'm very happy with what he's accomplished recently, stated the Milan manager. Mihailovic, you pleasantly surprised me with this. Not only Mihailovic is happy, the coaching staff is happy because I smashed all my targets. Fantastic news. We won three of our last four league games and now we're turning to the cup, which is a chance to silver rare, so I want to, I want to give it my best. I want to win the cup. Good ball there, Marco Sao is through, he's got a bit of pace about him as well. This is not Hellas Verona anymore, this is not Pizzini and fucking Luca. Yeah, that's what it is. Are you for real? Are you for real? Romagnoli? I thought I hated you enough in the last game. I'm gonna fucking send an assassin over to oh, your wife's house, you fuck. You don't know what state I'm in right now, I literally can't be, I, that's a great save to be fair, it was straight at me, but I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Am I disappointed? Am I mad? A bit of both? I don't know. But I, I, I refuse to go out in this round, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, let's take another look at that, shall we? I will castrate you if you ever do that again. 
I don't know how we're losing a half time. I honestly don't. They've had no chances. No chances. We've had four or five decent opportunities, but we never really shot when we should have shot. We were in good positions, but we didn't pull the trigger. They had, again, no shots, and I've conceded. This is ridiculous. A bate into Luis Adriano. Lovely play again, but we're not going to do anything with this, are we? Or are we? A bate! 1-1! One, one! Oh, I should complain more often. It honestly spurs a team on to do good things. And Ignazio Abate is equalised. Get the fuck in. See, that is a defender I like. We could potentially hit them on the break here. Look at this counter-attacking football from Milan. Carlos Baca is through one-on-one. -on -one, and he hesitates. This is not the Carlos Baca from the opening stages of the... Si oh, yes, it is. Team play goal. Absolutely beautiful. The way we play that out. I honestly thought he should have shot there, but Baca knew what he was doing like a predator. He pops up in the box again and scores to make it 2-1. We are undoubtedly dominating the game again. It's unbelievable how we're playing right now. We're in fantastic form. We're just conceding quite unfortunate goals, but as long as we're winning, I'm, I don't really mind too much. And that should have been 3-1. That should have been game over. Kevin Prince into Menez. Menez with the shot. Good save. Two minutes of injury time. That is a lovely ball. Can they equalise? Marco Sa, one on one. I. Okay. Menez is going to kill the game off here. Baka, there it is. 3 1, game over. I don't have a clue what Marco Sa was doing. He could have equalised. I, I went the wrong way. I stepped to the right. He had an open goal to my left side. He didn't shoot. Instead of 2 2, it's now 3 1. And we go through in the cup. And we were all over them, but they had one shot, and that wasn't even their goal, it was an own goal. I'm willing to forgive Romagnoli, not today, but maybe some other day. Away from home against Frosinone, three points is what we need. We've been winning games a lot recently, and this team shouldn't be really a problem. Although, I say that, we have a very rotated side out. And the question on the minds of the fans is, is Diego Lopez watching? Adriano plays it out wide. This could be a good chance here for Licioli early on. The youngster can prove his worth and he has done. Balotelli makes it 1-0. The rotational side is playing good football. Seven minutes into the game and we're already 1-0 up. Mario, you're a beautiful man. Lizana plays it inside. Lovely ball deflected. Oh, reflex save. And again, double save. Get in. I was there. I was focusing. I was paying attention. And that makes sure that we keep this clean sheet because I'm not ready to concede to a team like this. They're not sitting back, they're going for it. That's a lovely ball and that's going to be a goal. No, what a save! What a save by Gianluigi Donnarumma to get that out. I thought I was beaten, but look at that. Adriano, a wide to Felizioli. He's doing really well down the left wing. The youngster has been involved in a lot of the builder play and now the Silio is the one to drive forward. He's done well. Bertolacci into Adriano. Adriano on the back post. Kaisuke on off the post. Unbelievable hit. Oh, Simic. Oh, Simic. Oh, Simic. What is this? What is this? Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I can't. I can't. I can't describe it. I can't describe it. Like, I ask for the pass because he's literally running to nowhere because he's a fucking idiot and 63 rated. So, I, I've... Oh, my God. Philippe McSez has pushed up because we're all out attack. I don't blame Mihailovic. Oh, my days. We nearly scored as well. Better with the ball at their feet these days. They have to I need to make amends. I can't... I, we cannot draw this game. We cannot. There is no way I'm going to draw the game the way we've done. That's a real error by the keeper. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We've done it again! <laughs> yes! Do that! Ce oh, that celebration as well! Just... No way! We've. I had to make amends for my mistakes. I was running down the wings. I put in the tackle of dreams. And Baka, like a predator, just strikes at the right time. And we are back in the lead. I'm sorry, guys. I ran out again, but... I, the way we conceded that goal, I just, I just can't, again, I can't let that happen. Bucket, the celebration was probably even better than the goal. I love you. And that's the end of the game. I'm so sorry that I made that mistake. Well, it's not my mistake. It was purely Simic's fault for being dumb, being stupid. He cost me a clean sheet, but we end up winning the game. And to be fair, I actually had to make quite a few saves in that game. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the performance in itself.
They had a little bit more possession, a couple of more shots, so arguably they do deserve a point out of this, but not the way that happened. I was not going to accept that, but we get the win. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, that's all I've asked. We've now had two weeks of training. My reflexes and diving have already gone up, and now the other goalkeeping stats as well, which sees us jump up to a 79 rating. Amazing stats for considering our age. We're only still 16, and not just that, we have been voted into the Serie A team of the week. We've skipped forward three weeks without games. In the next episode, we won't be playing against Carpi and Frosinone. We'll have tough opposition. Fiorentina, Roma and Bologna. Three very, very tough games. Bologna arguably the easiest. But we're not going to get away with making mistakes like that. We'll have to play our strongest side and it's going to be tough. We're now also in the January transfer window. I'm expecting you guys would want me to stay for now. When it comes to the end of the season, we can discuss our future more. But halfway through the season, I feel like it's stupid to leave unless we get amazing offers. But I'm going to stay for now and let me know your thoughts on next season. Where should I go or should I just stay and become a Milan legend? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.